Hello guys, today I want to show you how you can hide some columns in the table, especially if you have tables with multiple like 10 or more columns and your users may specifically enable or disable some of them or it is called toggle them. So in the table of name and description, you can also see this. So I can enable to show created ad and updated ad or disable them at any time and by default they are disabled. And in the code it looks like this. In task resource, in the form schema, those fields are not present, but in the table we have this. Created at toggleable. So toggleable will actually enable them on the top right, and then another parameter is toggled hidden by default, true or false. The default is false. So for example, let's change this one and refresh the page, then Hmm. Well, this is weird. I was expecting created ad to appear by default. Let's experiment with another one. Maybe there is some bug in filament or maybe some caching. Hmm. Similar with updated ad, it doesn't appear. Although, according to the documentation, it should appear. Make hidden by default true, but if you don't set that to true, then it is false. Or maybe it is saved in the cookies of that user that I logged in with. Actually, let's try it out. I will log out from current user and log in with another user. Yeah, we have created that an updated ad by default, not hidden. So I'm not entirely sure how it works. Shoot in the comments below. Maybe you know the answer. An interesting part, how did I find out about those toggleable things? There are so many features in Filament that I keep finding new things every day. That's why I started this channel of Filament Daily and I found out about toggleable and that specific parameter by automatically generating the resource. So I've launched make filament resource with generate, which tried to generate the table and the form. And it detected timestamps in my database table, created at an updated ad, and by default, filament generates them as toggleable and hidden by default. Quite a good solution, I would say. So yeah, that's it. A quick tip for today. Subscribe to the channel to get more tips about filament and see you guys in other videos.